Now to the case against Casey Anthony. The newest documents released indicate grandmother Cindy Anthony may have feared little Kaylee was dead from the very beginning. And West 2's Amanda Obrey is live in the newsroom now with the latest. Amanda? Well, in the packet of documents that re were released yesterday, there are excerpts from conversations Cindy Anthony had with her co-workers at Gentiva Health Services. Those conversations reveal at one time Cindy did fear the worst. The newest documents in the Casey Anthony trial reveal her mother, Cindy, feared from the beginning little Kaylee was dead. Detectives interviewed a co-worker of Cindy's, Debbie Polisano, who said on July 15th, Cindy left work to go with her husband, George, to get Casey's car from the wrecker yard where it had been towed. When Cindy came back to work, she told Polisano there was, quote, a really, really bad smell in the car. When another co-worker suggested Cindy call police, Cindy refused and said instead she would give Casey a chance to explain herself. But later that night, Cindy called Polisano and was almost incoherent, screaming, I found Casey and the baby's gone. The baby's missing. We can't find the baby. Polisano asked Cindy if she'd called the police, and Cindy said the police were already talking with Casey. Cindy then said, Oh my God, Debbie, if something happened to the baby, if the baby is dead, I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, one of the biggest revelations in yesterday's documents was the fact that a heart-shaped sticker was found on the duct tape stretched across Kaylee's mouth.